Hey friends, in today's video, my yardener husband Corey and I will be showing you how we are going to update our chain link metal fence in our backyard. I hope you enjoy the video. So are you going to show them what you were using? Yeah, what are we using? So, um, <laughs> so uh, this is what our local hardware uh, store carries. It's, you know, it's called the arrow lock slats. Okay. Um, and uh, um, so essentially it's a little tedious, but uh, um, you can see it looks a lot better than the chain link and it's a little more private. So um, basically you put these little railings down here on the bottom. Okay. And uh, this is what, uh, this is what the um, uh, slats lock into when they, when you put them down. So, mm, okay. I um, see. So you put that down first. This down through the bottom, the very bottom row. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, it, it can get kind of tight and get uh, pretty, um, uh, it, at least on the other fence, it got real tight. I had to use some pliers to actually pull it through, but this one's actually sliding in pretty easy. Okay. And uh, so there, so we've got a, okay, a so nice we've... railing in the bottom there. And it comes about, each one of these bags does about 10 feet. Okay. Uh, so you come with the railings, and these are about a little over three feet each, uh, and uh, you just string them through the bottom. But I'll do these a little bit later because I've got some here. So grab a handful. It's actually pretty simple. Just get them out, and this is this fence is going to go a lot quicker because I don't have to cut these. That fence over there is short, so I had to cut all those to length. Mm -hmm. But this, as you can see, that this has a little. Uh, triangle here uh, where it will slide in the slat uh -huh. or the little railing when we get down here and then it's got a little notch in it mm -hmm. right here so when it goes down into the railing you'll you can hear a click and it'll it'll latch so once it's down there it won't pull up hmm. okay so, you don't so get show us things. how you put that in so start it All the way down and right down there you can see push it down I didn't hear the click but it's in there yeah cool. there. it won't pull up so okay and then so, you just keep going just keep going <laughs> and until it's we'll all the way across there. so uh, this yeah. section of the fence we did two years ago maybe a year ago a year ago um, because as you can see, we could see right into our neighbor's yard. And then over here, we have these arborvitae that are way overgrown and really old. But um, again, they're in the neighbor's yard. So we decided to continue with the slats, you know, through the remainder of the fence, just to give it like a finished clean look. Uniform. Uniform look, yeah. And then we also did, um, I'll drop a picture we did uh, the side of our yard as well, which that one was worse because it had old slats in it that were really, um, I don't know, deteriorating. I, I remember why we stopped here. Why? Because this is where the chicken coop started. Oh, that's where the chicken <laughs> run was. Yeah, that's right. We used to have chickens in this area. So we had like a fenced chicken run area. Anyway, I'm excited to get this going today. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Corey's real excited. I have till three o'clock. <laughs> Corey's real excited to get it going. And then I'll take you over and show you the other area that we did. So this area over here had this like really old slatting that was, I don't know, made of wood or something. but. I'll drop a picture. We took that all out and we did this side of our yard too. So you can see it adds some privacy. Um, it does make it look a little bit more, you know, kind of clean and finished. And then they do have different colors of this. Um, they have, I think they have brown and gr we, we got the green and maybe one other color. Corey, what colors do they have of this? Of the slats? Yeah. Um, there's all kinds of colors on the internet. Um, oh, there's different. But, uh, the uh, hardware store, I believe, has brown, green, 
Uh, and I think they have like a, a reddish, uh, like a uh, a redwood color. Oh yeah. It's uh, it's it's kind of like our chimney color. No, oh, okay. So, but we went with the green. Yeah, we went the green because the green. Uh, I I don't know if you 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 see like if you go up into um, uh, buildings and cities and stuff, a lot of people are starting to do their houses in green because they don't really stand out. Yeah. And they just kind of blend in with. Uh, so that's our chimney color there. Kind of a reddish orange we like so. we like green we like green yeah the trim of our house is also green and our gutters are green so there's our gutter right there and um some of our trim is green so anyway that's the project we're working on today so here's the rest of the slats that he's going to be working on and while he's working on that i'm going to be working on cutting back a few more things out of this garden bed um I've got some hostas that need cut back. So I'm kind of working over here too while he's working on that. So that's what we've got going on in our yard today. Right, Max? Yeah. Feels like fall out here. It's cold and wet. And it's kind of raining on us a little bit. But the dogs like being out here. So I'm gonna spend a little time outside today. Get out of my garlic. Okay, so it's a little bit later the same day, and you can see we started, I should say Corey started right about here, and we, he has done all of this down this way, and this part down here I think was really difficult to do behind the bushes, because you have to thread those things through. So, if we go over here, this is where he's at right now. And here he is. So, uh, still working on slats. Still putting slats in. Um, yeah. It's now the afternoon, but uh, yeah. So, I didn't think I was gonna have to do as much on this fence because it's in better shape than the one over here. But carry a pair of pliers when you're doing this, because if your fence is a few years old or if it's had some age, um, you know, some plants have been growing into it or some branches have fallen on it. You get these little imperfections and dents that make it hard to put these in. So, you know, I, I noticed down here and I've had to do it a few times on the way down here, but sometimes you get these ones that are uh, squished down. And I just saw one here somewhere here to show you. Um, oh yeah, down here. So, so, uh, it, it, it can make it easier, but like for this, say this one right here, coming down here, if we come up here, it's going to be real hard to thread this through. As you can see, it's, oh, I've even got it upside down. Hold on. Okay. It's hard to thread these through when you've got this, something fell on this and kind of bent it over. And that's oh, kind yeah. of a, this is a real mild one. There's been a few that have been like down here. There's some really crazy ones. Yeah. So take your time. And sometimes it's just as easy as bending that out, just so you've got a place to thread it out. But you can also just kind of, well, this has got one of the, the ties to the bar on it too. But um, sometimes it just can be a little tweak. And sometimes it's a reshaping of the whole thing. But if you bend that out a little bit and bend these out, it makes a nice little groove to come right down through there so yeah so like if you follow me down here you'll see more of these gnarly ones down here that something something fell into oh yeah that one's so, really bad so you'll have to carry a pair of pliers mm -hmm. and uh just kind of you know rebend this stuff and take your time and i always try to rebend it back to kind of where it was but sometimes it's not as easy. And uh, um, and uh, this fence over here had a lot of the of uh, really bad stuff on the bottom railing that I had to really yeah. uh, pull through. And some of it's hard to pull and I had to actually have to pull those bottom rails that through with the pliers. Mm -hmm. But like these stuff that right up here. That fence is shorter, so we had to cut all of them too because yeah. they didn't make them that. So like this right up here, like, you know, you can kind of re, shape the try the you know basically it's a a square a diamond shape on this thing and then if you don't get a good groove down through here just loosen this uh 
loosen that. And it's not gonna really bother the integrity of the fence because these yeah. things aren't coming loose. Yeah. They might be, they might look loose, but they're not coming apart. Uh -huh. um, but uh, That's I a good mean, tip though because yeah. it but it's carry pliers. Be, yeah, carry pliers and okay. take your time and go. Yeah. So, yeah, these ones. So Corey had to get a hacks, hacksaw and cut all these chop saw. Chop saw, and then over here on that on our neighbor's fence, that's what it did look like. So you can see it was pretty worn and moldy and just not in good shape. Yeah, there's a, I so, think there's a video or some Yeah, pictures. there's there's some pictures and I'll yeah. I'll include those in this video, but you can see the difference. I mean, it's like night and day. It looks like a brand new fence and we're getting that privacy and we're blocking out <clears throat> a lot of these arborvitae um, <laughs> things because you know, they're not the best looking. A lot of them just really... The well, whole... I need to get over here probably yeah. too because the neighbors aren't going to do it and We've pull some ivy. of this ivy off yep. of the arbivita. And you can see how much it's growing over on our side of the fence. So we might need to just come through and... Down. Yeah, it's all growing up. So we down. might need to just trim some of this at some point too. But at least we're getting our side of the fence looking nice. And I told Corey, like, it, it to me, it looks like... Kind of like if you have a... You know like a painting or a picture or something it kind of gives your eye a place to like start and stop because you know before that it just I mean I don't know you can tell me what do you guys think do you like looking through it like that to see or do you like the kind of you know the blocking um like for this for me it made me realize this bush here I need I need to like maybe trim it a little differently and try to shape it better um but yeah so I'm really happy with the way it looks. I mean, I know it's kind of a, a man-made looking green, but I still think it looks fresh and nice. And yeah, I'm super excited. So got a little ways to go here. Luckily, I've got a gardener husband who can do all this stuff at my request. He's pretty awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Corey. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out in the yard with us today. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and share our channel with a friend. We'll see you next time. Bye!